So let, let's get personal here. Th tell us what this means, uh, that you are now not only the second black person elected mayor of Los Angeles, but the first woman elected mayor of Los Angeles. It means that I have a tremendous responsibility on my shoulders. You know, Los Angeles is facing multiple crises, so mm -hmm. the crisis alone is a big responsibility. But to have history on my shoulders as well, uh, it, that's even, even larger. Now, you are holding to your campaign promises. When you came on the show after you announced, and I asked you, why did you jump into the race? And you said the number one reason was homelessness. And so now that you are mayor-elect, um, how are you going to address that um, in your first 100 days in office? What's your plan? Well, well, on day one, which is December 12th, uh, declare a state of emergency, bring all of the various departments in the city together, centralize them so that we can speed through the approval process to get people off the streets immediately, uh, build the first housing on city-owned property. There needs to be temporary measures to get people off the streets and out of tents. But we also have to address why they were on the streets to begin with. So one of the things that we will do immediately is has identified some of the most uh, problematic uh, encampments where multiple people are living together and get them off the streets because, Jonathan, as you know, four or five of them die every day. So the encampments are very dangerous for the people that are in them, and they're certainly dangerous for the surrounding communities. You know, in an open letter, you talk about your plan to tackle rising crime rates and support public safety for Los Angeles. Tell us more about that. Well, basically, in many neighborhoods, people are not feeling safe right now. And you know the number one job of the mayor is to protect Angelinos. And so in those neighborhoods that want to see an increased police presence, we should do that by re taking officers out of administrative duty and putting them on the streets as soon as possible. But we also have to double down and triple down in neighborhoods with crime prevention and intervention strategies, something I've worked on for a long time, something I'm still working on in my last remaining days in Congress, and that's to bring a tremendous amount of funding to neighborhood-based organizations. So mm -hmm. you stop crime when it happens, but you also prevent crime so it doesn't happen in the first place. Uh, mayor like Bass, what does it mean that you were elected mayor um, against a guy who spent more than, uh, more than $100 million in his campaign for the same spot? Well, um, he spent $108 million. Uh, I spent $9 million. I think the biggest difference is, is the grassroots campaign that we had. We had people in community organizations, neighborhood organizations throughout the city. We had a very robust uh, field campaign. But our job and my goal in the beginning, in terms of the campaign, was to build a citywide coalition of support. And it's based on years of work, years of relationships, trying to improve conditions in our city. And so we brought all of that together, and uh, I believe we were able to win for that reason, but also because Los Angeles is a Democratic city, and Los Angeles just didn't buy the idea that somebody that became a Democrat three weeks before you filed for election was actually a Democrat. You know, you, you've mentioned and I've mentioned, you get a, you're inaugurated on December 12th. That's not a lot of time. That's less than four, less than <laughs> yes. four weeks. How are you preparing in the minute that we have less than a minute than we have left? How are you preparing <laughs> for that big day? But, well, first, first and foremost, uh, building a transition team and identifying staff and bringing together an administration and working with the current mayor and current city council.